Dear Journal, Sorry I haven't been writing. My life has improved dramatically in the last few months and I forgot about this sorry stack of paper. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? So when I turned eight, I decided the only thing I wanted in life was to become an artist. And I'm talking about like a real artist, not a struggling broke one. The only way that I believed I could really prove myself is if I got my own art show. My father, the absentee orchard picker that he is, told me that was an unrealistic goal right from the start. Artist isn't a real profession. Go to college. Get a degree in something useful. Be a mathematician, a business major. Pay your way through college. Blah, blah, blah. So that's what I did. And let me just say, I picked the worst way to do it. Waiting is not for me. I mean, what rational person thinks a 3% tip is generous? Apparently everyone I wait on. God, the nerve. I decided the only real way to deal with the stress of my awful job and my schoolwork was to spend the little money that I did have on cancer in a box, hoping those would kill me before I ever had to pour another glass of orange juice, or before I ever had to walk to school again and sit in a boring lecture about the history of quantum physics. Ugh. You know that old cliche saying, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade? Yeah, well, life handed me oranges, and orange juice is not the exciting sour beverage that lemonade is. It's pulpy and gross, kind of like my boring repetitive life. What a classic metaphor. Get up, get dressed, go to school, go to work, no tips, math homework, no sleep, over and over and over. So it was time to shake things up. I decided to get in touch with a local art gallery to pursue my elementary school dream. They showed some interest in me, so I took my waitress tab doodles and turned them into some real sketches. Oh, and also, I tried one of those nasty things on the way to school the other day and realized I hate them even more than I did as an eight-year-old. So, like any good angsty creator, I turned that hate into art. Apparently, hate and love come across equally as passionate through paint. And painting is a much better stress reliever than those damn cancer sticks. Goodbye, ashy lungs. Hello, orange paint in my hair. People said I wasn't going to make it. Well, guess what, people? The art gallery called me back. Life gave me oranges, and I squeezed out every last drop. <laughs> 